By the end of this video, you will be learning how to use local notifications in Flutter, starting from simple notifications to periodic notification and also scheduling a notification. And we will also learn how we can move from one screen to another and pass the payload and display the payload in the new screen. So let's start. First, let us create a new Flutter project using Flutter create command. Let's name the app as Flutter local notifications tutorial. Now navigate to the folder and open it on VS Code. Now we will be needing some, we will be needing the packages. First package will be Flutter local notification. And then we will be also needing Flutter time zone. And we'll also be adding Rx dart for making it reactive and changing from one screen to another. Use flutter pub add and the name of the package was flutter local notification and the second one was flutter time zone and third one was rx star. So just paste it. It will add the three dependencies inside our project. Now we can see three dependencies are added. Now we need to come to the Flutter local notifications package documentation. Here we need to follow some steps and complete the setup. First, we need to add this multi disk enable feature. Just copy it and we need to add this inside app build.gradle. So visit Android app and inside build.gradle. Here, after Android NDK version, paste it here. Just intent it correctly. And then we need to add this core library inside compile options, paste it. Now we also need to add this dependency, copy it. And below this Kotlin version, paste it here. Now we are done. Next, in the Android build out Gradle, we need to add this class path. So copy it inside Android build out Gradle, this one. Here in dependencies, below Kotlin version, paste this. Now we are good to go. Now we need to initialize the local notification plugin. So for initializing, just copy this code. And you will create a new file inside our live folder. It will be local notifications dot dot. You will create a class name it as local notifications. You will create a static future in it static future init function that will be used to initialize the local notification plugin. So we will paste this code here that we have copied from the documentation. Now we also need to import the better local notification package. So import it. Here in on did receive notification for Darwin installation is this for iOS and Mac OS. Here for now, we don't need to do anything. So we'll just return in null here. And here we need to initialize our initialization setting that we have created here. So for that, just remove this. We can create a new variable, Flutter local notification plugin like this, a static final Flutter local notification plugin. Let's name it as underscore local local notification plugin. 
and here we will call and initialize the flutter local notification plugin to this variable and then instead of this we will use our variable dot initialize and this one is mandatory that they receive notification so for now we don't need to do anything we can simply pass null for now now if we call this future init function it will initialize our flutter local notification plugin and set everything now instead of app icon we don't have anything named as app icon for now we can use the icon that is already there so open android manifest dot xml file and here we have our default icon this is minmap ic launcher just paste it here to show our default icon now to initialize it we'll be initializing in our main.dat file here first we'll make this as async and then we'll use widget flutter binding ensure initialized it will initialize everything and then we'll call await the name of the class was local notifications dot init and this will initialize inside our main function before we run the app now this is how we initialize the plugin now we need to write a function to show a simple notification so first showing a simple notification will create a static future function it will be show simple notification you will expect to pass the string title string body and string payload make it as an async function and then This is the code to display a simple notification. Just copy it and paste it here. Here we are just creating a new variable. It will be Android notification details. It is a return type of Android notification details. Here we provide our channel ID, our channel name, channel description, and the importance and priority. If we want to create a ticker, then we pass a ticker. And here we call the notification plugin to show and it will show our text body and notification and also the payload so our name of the variable was underscore flutter notification plugin that we have created here and now since we are receiving a title body and payload we'll pass this as the title And pass this as the body that we are receiving and the payload. So now if we call this simple notification function, it will show a simple notification in our app. Here we have the demo flutter code. Just remove this home page. Instead of that, we are going to create a new home page. It will be home.dat. Make it as a stateful widget. For now, for the app bar, give it a title as Flutter Local Notifications.
and inside body we can have column we'll have some children in column here we'll add our elevated button dot icon here the icon will be icon icons dot notification outline and on press for now let's not pass anything and the label will have text simple notification Now link our main.datfile file with the home page that we have recently created. And now we need to run our app. So this is our UI where we have a simple notification button. On pressing this simple notification button, we would like to call our local notifications dot show simple notification function. And here we need to pass the title. The title will be simple notification. And here inside the body, let us pass this is a simple notification. And in now payload for now, this is simple data. Now, if we press this button, it will call the show notification function and it will show a simple notification. So let's try it. So it's showing us a simple notification. And it's also giving us the body as this is a simple notification. So this is how we show a simple notification. Now, if we click it, now if we click it from outside, it will open the app. Now let's write the logic for adding Now here we need to write another elevated button similar to this. It will be to show periodic notification. And icons will be timer outline. And here inside our local notification, we'll write another function to show periodic. Notification at regular interval. This one will be also a static future function. It will be show periodic notifications. Make it async. And here we'll use await underscore flutter notification plugin dot periodically show and here we need to pass our id title body repeat interval and notification details so like our previous one we can copy this and here we can paste it here here we need to pass the channel id and everything the description for now We are changing the channel ID to something different so that it gets different value.
and like our previous one let's also accept a title body and payload and here the id will be one and the repeat and here we need to provide a repeat interval at the interval that will repeat the notification again and again so for now let's provide a repeat interval as every minute it means that in every minute it will show this notification from the time we start so let's call this Here we'll use flutter you will use local notifications dot show periodic notification and everything will be similar here will instead of simple notification it will be notifi periodic notification now if you press this and if you close this app after one minute we'll find a notification coming now you notice that this periodic notification came after one minute but if we close this notification it will not be closing after every one minute it will show this notification pop up so to close it we need to create another function by which we can close a specific notification depending upon the channel id so let's create a function to close the notification close a specific channel notification now you see that i have not pressed anything but it's showing me a periodic notification it has been given the interval of every one minute it will keep showing notification every one minute until we close it so let's try to function to close a not specific channel notification or make it as cancel here we need to pass our id channel id make it async and await underscore flutter notification plugin dot cancel here we need to pass the id and this will cancel our periodic notification now we also need to add a button to close a specific not periodic notification for that let's add a button to close periodic notifications It will be a text button. The text will be close. Child will be text. Close. Periodic notifications. And here we will call our local notifications dot cancel. And we need to pass the channel ID here. And our periodic notification, our channel ID, our channel ID was one. Now, if we press this button, it will close the notification of channel one. Now, we can also write a function to close all the notifications. available it will be static future cancel all here we don't need an id since we'll cancel everything it will be underscore flutter local notification plugin dot cancel all if we call this it will cancel all the notifications
it will be cancel all notifications and here we'll pass local notifications dot cancel all now if you will play suppose here we have this simple notification and if we press this cancel all notification it will close the simple notification so this is the way how we can cancel all notification here let's write the logic to schedule a notification like our previous one the name of the function will be show show schedule notification you will also pass a title body and payload And here we will use our flutter time zone so so here first we need to add flutter time zone slash data slash it will be latest dot dark as pz and then to add package time zone Timezone dot dot also as tz. Now here first we need to initialize our time zone. We'll use tz dot initialize time zone. It will initialize our time zone, and then we will create a local time variable, and we'll use tz dot local. To get the local time let's create a let's create a static final on click notification variable here we'll add behavior subject so this is a function of rx start and we can use pass the return type also the return type will be a type of string and here we will also write a function on tap on any notification static void on notification tab we'll expect a notification response here as parameter and then we will add this inside on click notification on click notification dot add notification response and we'll only add the payload here we need to add a null check otherwise it will not work what we are doing if we tap this notification we are we have created this behavior subject property of on click function and we will add our notification payload here and we also need to call this on notification tab we can also add on background response we'll also perform this on notification tab it means that if we open the full background notification then it will call this and if we use if you press this notification background it will also call this function now inside our home page we need to listen to any changes if it's happening 
for that reason we have made this as set state you know in its state we will be creating a function to listen to any notification clicked or not let's name the functions listen to notifications listen to notifications and here first let us just print listen into notifications and then we'll call notifications local notifications dot on click notification the rx start variable that we have created statically so that we can access it now we will stream over this and listen to any changes if anything changes if anything get added to the on click notification it means that we are adding a new payload that will navigate then we'll use navigator dot push and we'll pass it to our another page that we have created using material page route on text another page here we need to pass the payload here so our payload was inside event Now it's okay. Now we need to call this in our init state. Listen to notifications. Now, what will happen if we restart this app? And if we click on any notification, like simple notification, it will show a notification pop up. And then when you, when you click it, it will open this another page. We can remove this column and instead we can only show the payload. Like this is simple data. Now you can do anything with this data. You can pass to any other page or anything as you wish. Now let us try with schedule notification. If we also close the zap, and if we open this, Now let's try with schedule notifications. Now if we run the app on background and click on this, it will open to another page. And here I think that we have not passed any payload. So we need to pass the payload here. Payload will be the payload. And here also our payload will be payload that we are passing. Now let's restart our app and try again. Now let's schedule a notification. Now, if we click here, it will show 
this is periodic data. Okay, the data will be scheduled data. Now let's try on schedule notification. Now, if we click on this, this is scheduled data. And if we try to close all notification, it will work. Let's add a container and give it a height as double dot infinity. And make this in center. Also set mean axis alignment to center. Now it's okay. We have successfully completed our Flutter notifications integration. So that's all. Thank you.